there's a voice a voice that needs to be heard a voice that that's not being heard in a in in the industry today and that voice that voice that need to be heard that's being hurt that's being spanked that's being treated like a stepchild is truckers welcome back to the lockout man podcast show so we just going to go ahead and jump right into this uh conversation right quick you guys know that the best conversations starts over here on the lockout man podcast show join us why don't you you know what i'm saying i appreciate you guys listening let's go so scrolling in instagram i come across a post from my girl Sheree Moore from the She Trucking Trucking Group. If you're a female and you're interested in the trucking, this is the biggest female trucking group that you can join. You can get some good conversations, some good tips, tricks, and advice from women all over this 25,000 strong group, She Trucking. Um, there's a post that's calling for truck drivers to do a national strike. Park your truck. Don't drive from April 1st to April 8th. About a week, give or take. About a week. Um, says enough is enough. Enough of the fuel gouging, enough from the brokers, enough from the shippers and receivers. Um, they're calling for on duty pay, brokers regulations, transparency, safe place to park, maternity pay, zero tolerance policies. Now, since this post was posted, only 12 <laughs> people commented right i'm sure a lot of people have seen it but only 12 people actually made a comment and a few of those people that's in a comment says that you know they'll they'll park their truck but it was one commenter that really uh tip you know tipped on my interest right so would you guys park though i mean would you park for a week could you park for a week now i would imagine owner operators would probably be the ones that would take advantage of this because they they're not obligated you know that it's their own truck that's their truck. They can do whatever they want to. So if they don't feel like driving that day, they're not going to drive. Right? But it was a comment that says, good for y'all that can go a week without pay. And I, I thought about that. There's a lot of drivers out here that is hurting, like company drivers that are hurting. Right? And a couple of owner-operators that are hurting right so i mean if you are owner operator and you want to shut down for that week you know you you might miss out on the payment might miss out on that you know bills or whatever the case because some of you guys are hurting there's thousands of truck drivers out here and not all of us is gonna it's gonna shut down we work for mega carriers, so I'm sure a mega carrier is not going to shut down, shut their doors and park their trucks for a week because they will be hurting. But think about it, though. If they do do that, though, right, they will be putting the hurting on the logistics, right? They will be putting the hurting on the warehouses right think about it 
a week imagine what a week would do if truckers decided to park which will never happen by the way i'm i'm just saying i'm not coming in being a negative nanny but i'm just i'm, I'm honestly saying that that is never going to happen you're going to always have somebody that is hurting and if they're hurting they're not going they're not going to take part of it they need to get paid bills just because you stopped means that the bills don't stop and then let's say for example that week let's say the week before was kind of <laughs> you only got you only got 10,000 miles or I'm sorry you only got 1,000 miles 1,500 miles now mind you making 38 cent a mile so you you know 1,300 1,500 miles ain't gonna pay shit you know your take home pay gonna be somewhere around five four so yeah you know taking that week off you're going to be hurting but can you do it though will you do it only 12 people says that they will 12 there's thousands of drivers and only a handful will probably do it but would it put a dent in it though would would i mean when you shake a tree when you shake a tree real hard with one person maybe a few leaves will come out but if you get a gang of people to shake that tree all of the leaves is going to fall out and i agree that's that's what it is with trucking thousands of drivers i i would say maybe about a quarter of them needs to come together to at least make a dent a dent But with mega carriers like Prime, Swift, Snyder, they're, they're not shutting down. They're not shutting down. And if they drive, their company drivers decided to park their trucks, trust me, they can let them go and get somebody else in that truck to drive it. But here it is. Here's the call. We, we're, we're calling for on-duty pay, which will never happen. Broker regulations probably might happen. Transparency laws, that might happen. Safer place to park. I, you know, I'm on a fence with that. And, I, and I'll tell you why. So we know that parking for truck drivers is an issue, right? It's not that many places that we can park safely, right? But there are, you know, being that it's the modern times now, you know, there are apps that's coming up, that's popping up, and you will be able to find parking, whether at a truck stop, field, or a mom and pops, you'll be able to you know, find some adequate parking. I mean, I have, and that's why I'm going to segue into Trucker's Path. I mean, luckily for me with Trucker's Path, I was able to find some good parking spots. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm i not going to lie to you. I mean, I I, I understand I only drive regional. I, I, I'm from Ohio to uh, Texas. Ohio to Florida, Ohio to Midwest. I, I I get it. I get it. But Trucker's Path helped me a lot to find some some good parking. I'm not going to lie. I, I honestly found some good ass parking with Trucker's Path. And I was able to save the spots in my in my gps of course so but yeah but we still need more parking for truck drivers all right 
maternity pay, you know, when ladies get pregnant, they're going to need that time off. Of course, they're not going to get paid if they're not moving the truck. And zero tolerance policies. I'm not sure what that is, but. But anyway, that's about it. That's all I got to say is from April 8th or I'm sorry, from April 1st to April 8th. This might be an April fool. I don't know. I don't know. But from April 1st to April 8th, it's calling for all truckers to shut down. Will you join? Let me know in the comments below. All right, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for listening. If you guys want to get at me, 216-600-2090. Like, subscribe, share, hit that like, uh, hit that bell, and all that good stuff. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.